It's one day. Ghouls and goblins will be out roaming the streets here in the Triangle. And for many kids, getting as much candy as possible, well, that's the goal. But another goal for moms and dads is safety. WNCN's Lauren Haviland found out how safe your child's Halloween costume really is. The Consumer Product Safety Commission reports in 2013 about 4,400 people in the United States went to the emergency room for Halloween-related injuries. More than half were adults. Some of those injuries included burns from costumes. Working with the Durham Fire Department in a controlled setting, we set these Halloween costumes and accessories on fire. First on the list, a costume many young girls might be wearing, an Anna princess dress from Frozen. It's made of 100% polyester. We began by lighting the bottom of the dress. You saw the flames move across the, the costume there, and after a period of time, it, it put itself out. So um, fire retardant properties there. We then tried lighting it from the top. You can see it's burning really quickly. It was destroyed in less than three minutes. The material, as it, as it burned and dripped, it caught more of the material on fire and was able to sustain the combustion a little more readily. Next up, a cape. And it had some foam in it, and that foam burned really quickly. Finally, a witch's hat with hair. There's a warning on this one to keep away from flames. In just under two minutes, most of the hair was gone and there was a large hole from the flames in the hat. She still could have uh, significant burns, especially from the drip and that those drips could stick to the skin or light other parts of a costume on fire. Other Halloween dangers include burning candles and jack-o'-lanterns, fire pits and torches. The Durham firefighters recommend using flameless candles as a safer alternative. For other safety tips like decorations or the candy all those kids will be getting, head to our website, WNCN.com. Lauren Havlin, WNCN News. Lauren, something else really important. We've got the sex re offender registry list also yeah. on WNCN.com. Something really important for moms and dads to check out. Yeah.